Hey, Gemini gang. Thank you guys for tuning in. All Gemini placements, take what resonates, leave the rest. Or take it how it resonates with you and your situation, okay? Personal readings are in the description box on my website. If you want to try Mystic Sense, check out the affiliate links in the description box, okay? Um, yeah, hit that like, hit that subscribe. My social medias are also in the description box, you guys. And that are my, those are my only social medias, all right? There are a lot of pages that pretend to be me. They're not me, all right? Again, hit that like, hit that subscribe, y'all. Okay, so there's that Divine Masculine card again, y'all. So what comes out is loss, lack, sacred purpose, wisdom. Haven't seen that one yet. And uh, the Divine Masculine card. Okay, so I'll take the loss, lack, because that one was on the top. And um, I also saw that a few times while I was shuffling these. So, some of you operating from fear, or you have someone in your energy that operates from fear, victimization. Uh, Gemini is thinking that they're the victim. Or are you thinking that you're the victim of something? Um, Gemini, there's that courage. I fucking love it. Strength, fierceness, and family. Let's see, she has that big old lion on her head. So some of you may be dealing with a Leo. And then we have Earth Magic, which is also saying fearlessness here and removing obstacles. So this is kind of in line with the other reading that I just did, um, Gemini. Whereas someone or you is, is operating from fearlessness. So uh, Earth Magic is 26, which is an 8. And then the, the uh, affirmation for that one is, I have the power to remove any, uh, any inner or outer blocks. I am fearless in my choice to honor myself in my life. Okay. And then loss and lack is 34, which is a seven. I've been seeing that number seven for you guys a lot. Um, so the affirmation for this one is, I let go of feelings of fear and lack. It's, it's safe for me to stand up and make choices that empower me. So this could legit be you or it could be someone in your energy, Gemini, because this is the same energy that I was kind of getting in the last reading. Okay, um, let's see. We'll do a paragraph from this one. The message of this card is clear. No matter what kind of loss you've experienced in the past, it is absolutely necessary to shift your focus now and to redefine your power. You are no longer the victim of a threatening world, frightened and unable to direct your own destiny. In fact, since your consciousness creates your reality, this assumption only keeps your energy stuck. The owl represents you to leave the uh, represents. The owl encourages you to leave your victim mentality behind and see the truth of your eternal courage and power. So, if you're operating from a victim mentality, Gemini time to get rid of it operate from courage which is strength fierceness and family and this is a number two um gemini's the affirmation for this one is i bring the courage of my soul to all the issues in my life i stand in my true power now and always okay um yeah so this one is the lion is known as the king of beasts because of his mighty roar and regality. This situation facing you may involve direct action or strong communication of some sort. You must have the courage to express your truth and make your desires known and to take action on your own behalf no matter what or whom you're dealing with. I've gotten an energy like this for you guys before with you guys needing to really, really stand in your power. And also, don't be afraid to say what you need and what you require, especially out of these relationships, okay? The word cur courage comes from the French word for heart, which I knew that. <laughs> this card is telling you that even if you have felt uncertain or frightened in the past, you now have the strength of heart, the strength of the heart to face your life with self-actualized clarity. Whether it's regarding a relationship mm -hmm, 
or a situation at work or at home. The action you engage in or ex uh, or expression of your truth now will be blessed. This kind of reminds me of the sun card too. Will be blessed by purity of your own divine heart. Okay? So this is, it also talks about how lions roll in packs. Okay? Um, lions are social animals. They live in families. Okay? So it could be sending a message that is regarding that. So you need to care for a family member or encourage them to take greater care of themselves. A new member of the family may also be coming your way. Whoa! Wasn't expecting that one. And I kind of saw that in the last reading as well, Gemini. So I feel like with that energy, um, so you may have a Leo family member that is needing your assistance. Gemini's doesn't have to be, but also with courage, I always um, think of love. So the courage is tied to the heart chakra, which of course you heard that it also means heart. But that's why in the movie, The Lion King, the lion is wanting um, courage, if that makes sense. Also, Leo rules the heart. So all of these things connect each other. And uh, there's a lot of symbolism in movies to um yeah but courage and heart go hand in hand because it takes courage to really love if that makes sense um gemini's even though people look at it as the opposite way people look at showing love as a weakness when it's really showing love takes strength it takes courage to do that um gemini so let's see what's going on Okay, so, yikes. This is how the energy is starting off. Okay, the King of Swords. See, now we see that lost lack, and we're seeing the Five of Pentacles coming up under it. And the Hangman. All right, so, Geminis, I'm feeling like you may have someone in your energy, or this is you, that is feeling left out in the cold. Or someone's coming from a place of lack. Ooh, yikes. The death card, I won't take the page of pentacles, but the page of pentacles also came out. So I feel like Gemini, someone is seeing things in a different way. The hangman can also be about, the hangman can be about seeing something in a different perspective because he's, hang, he's hanging upside down, right? And if he's hanging upside down, then he's looking at the world from a different way than he was when he's right side up. <laughs> but it can also be about enlightenment because when he got in this position he's seeing something Gemini's that's why he has that halo he's in, been enlightened so I feel like um, something has sparked a type of change into a person Gemini's which makes sense because in the last reading I did pull the handwritten I'm seeing things differently now so I feel like Either you or someone in your energy is seeing things in a totally different way now. Where at one point they were coming from a place of loss. They were coming from a place of lack or victim mentality or whatever the case may be. Now it's different. And this could also be you, Gemini. So you going through some type of enlightenment. Ooh-wee, the hermit, the lovers, yikes. So I feel like <laughs> some of you dealing with a Virgo, um, someone I feel like has been in this solitude energy and I feel like it's what they need. So if you are like separated from someone, Gemini's, I feel like this isolation that they're going through is something that's needed. They need to go through this in order to grow, uh, Gemini, in order to develop. Now, seeing the Five of Pentacles with the lovers, I get a through thick and thin vibe. Because sometimes the five, of, the five of Pentacles can be about being with someone through thick and thin uh, for, for richer or for poorer. Um, no matter what's going on, being together, sticking it out. Because as you can see in this card, they're sticking it out with each other, even though they're poor and you know they don't have decent clothes they don't have any shoes on their feet Gemini's 
Um, also, watch for codependency with this card as well, uh, Gemini's. But I feel like you're dealing with someone that, um, again, they may also come from a place of lack when they're dealing with love and connections. So they have a hard time giving. They have a hard time opening up. And again, this could be you. Uh, the Page of Pentacles again. Some of you may be dealing with someone younger than you. Mm -hmm. There's that Five of Wands. Uh, Gemini's. Could be a uh, Virgo again. Oof. The Chariot. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. So I'm seeing the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Three of Swords as well. And I'm seeing the King of Pentacles again. So some of you are dealing with the Taurus. Um, but I feel like with this energy, Gemini's, I feel like someone is really, really having a change of heart. Yep. It's almost as if this person has gone through some type of transformation and in that transformation they're realizing that um they don't want to be by themselves gemini's this person's realizing that they don't want to be alone they're realizing that they don't want to um live an entire life without having someone without having a lover whereas at one point they didn't care I feel like at one point they didn't care if they had anyone. They didn't care if anyone was for them or around them or showing them love or whatever. But I feel like now it's different. I feel like now they genuinely want a connection. Gemini's. Yep. Six of Cups. Eight of Wands on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yes, Gemini's. Could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. Yep. The Ten of Swords. Ooh, chow. You done been through some shit with this person, honey. The Three of Wands. The, there's that Five of Pentacles again. <laughs> Y'all, no way. Y'all see how that fall out like that? Will of Fortune. Yep, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so with this energy, Gemini's, once again, I'm seeing that you've been through a lot with this person. I'm also seeing a lot of overthinking here. Someone's stuck in the past, Gemini's. Um, someone may bring up the past a lot as well. Could be you that does it, since I'm seeing as lovers here. Um, Gemini's but I feel like someone is trying to build themselves um, either you or this person as well how can I put it <sighs> may have been in a relationship or in a connection that completely drained you like this person and it could be this person too um, someone here was in a relationship with someone that just drained the fuck out of them. I mean, did them dirty and everything like that. So now, anytime this person tries to get into another connection, that's where their mind goes. Like, their mind goes to what somebody in the past did to them. Not anything that's happening to them in the present, if that makes sense. Gemini's but I do feel like you guys are going to be able to overcome something uh, the three of wands like I said in the last reading is about taking things to the next level uh, Gemini's and that's kind of what I'm getting like this person wanting to take things to the next level uh, with you after thinking about it though like this person had to really think and ponder on what it is that they wanted the will of fortune over the death card that's a huge change whatever enlightenment this this person got gemini has completely changed this person all the way around i'm telling you this you changed something totally totally about this person something that this this person used to do or something this person used to believe 
is no longer a thing. King of Wands, I really wanted more information here. So you're, you could be dealing with a Leo, which again, we got that from the Strength card. But it's also about courage, it's about confidence. Like this person is needing confidence. Um, they're needing to get out of their insecurities because this person wallows in their insecurities. And so they may come off as a victim because they are very insecure because of some shit that happened in the past. Something that has nothing to do with you. Gemini's and you may be doing this to them, like treating them in a way um, or treating them a certain way because of what you've gone through in the past. Well, I'm seeing a huge change with this person, Gemini's. It's like they're sure. Whoever this is is sure and they're certain that you're who they want. Ace of Cups on the bottom. Whereas there may have been some uncertainty. Or this person may have, like I said, you may have gotten a vibe from them that they just want to be single. Or they just want to be by themselves or want to be alone. But that's not what they want at all. But it could also be that that's what they wanted at one point. till they met you. Now they actually want to be with someone. Open up to someone. Gemini's. That's the vibe that I'm getting from this. Like, you've completely changed this person. How they view love, how they view relationships. Uh, Gemini's is totally different than before. Because, man. Something is completely changed here. And again, this could be you too. Something about you that's, that has uh, completely changed, Gemini. I'm just going to get a few of these. But something here is like big. Somebody actually, um, yep, see. <laughs> All right, let me get a couple more of these spirits so I can wrap this up. Because, man, look here. Oh, shit. Okay, I'll take the top one because I'm not going to read all these. <sighs> okay. All right, so what's on the bottom? Okay, so this is about some sexual energy here on the bottom. Um, I feel the sexual energy between us, yet it's beyond physical attraction. It needs to be elevated to the expression of deep, unconditional love. Well then, okay then. <laughs> All right, I didn't read any of these except for the karmic ties one. Let me go ahead and read that one because that one makes so much fucking sense. Okay. The karmic ties, this is a number one card, and it says, I'm not happy. Karmic, uh, karma, behaviors, people, and or situations is playing a role in what's happening with me. And it's hard for me to see a way out. what I tell you, Gemini? You completely changed this person. Like something about this person has changed. And I feel like you're helping them see what it is they really want in this life. Because what they thought they wanted isn't really what it what they wanted. They may have said they wanted that due to other people in their lives, Gemini's. But whatever it, they claim to want at one point, they don't want that anymore, Gemini's. This person wants more. They want something with you. And you're, you're helping them see what it is they really want in life. We have this one, which is we need to wait for divine timing. Time is healing our wounds and creating the perfect conditions for our reunion. I'm walking home to you. I'm not sure where I am on the path, but I am walking it. I need you to trust me and believe I am working towards union with you. I feel your energy around me and I wonder, are you thinking of me too? I miss you. Let's both stop, let's both stop running away. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, Gemini's. Thank you for watching. Peace out.